going on guys? It's your girls Misa and Mia from You Already Know. It's Eminem Live Radio and guys, you already know it. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee for the world premiere of The Masked Saint. Listen, we have Patrick McKenna here live on the red carpet. How are you doing? I am sparkling, thank you so very much. You look sparkling. Why? See, that's it's makeup glowing, right there. It's the premiere. You're just, you're just excited. It shows. Yeah, it, it's, you know, I never really get to do many of these things, so it's kind of fun doing this. Uh -huh. It's nice. Yeah, my wife is more excited than I was. I think she likes dressing me. Uh -huh. She yeah. gets to say in what I wear. She did, didn't she? she yeah, because I'd, I'd be here in jeans and a plaid shirt. To be okay, honest. so so for the record, you had no say in what you're wearing tonight. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. No. Okay, all right. You get 32 years married. You say yes, dear. <laughs> I hope you're taking a lot of notes out there to all my married couples out there. But listen, you have to tell us a little bit about your character on the Mass Saint. I play Judd Lubkin, who's he's the guy who puts the most money into the church, so therefore he thinks he gets to make the rules. Mm -hmm. And watching that unfold and that power being taken away from when the new minister comes in and the parishioners turning against him what he thought he was everybody loved him when he realized they actually loved his money and so on they just tolerated him and so watching him crumble and then build himself back up that's sort of the role I have in it but the film offers that opportunity to every character which is so great like who you think you're playing versus who you represent in life so that's where the mask saint comes in I think everybody wears a mask some degree in life and when you take that mask off and you really have to be yourself are you comfortable with that is, are the people around you still comfortable with that? And everybody in the film's challenged with that opportunity and build forward on that. That was the greatest thing for me when I read the script going, that's that's a really cool opportunity for people to recognize these days. Yeah. Stop pretending what you think other people want and trust yourself. And it's amazing how many people suddenly react to that. And that's a great thing. And as a performer, you kind of got to live that every day anyway. You guys know that. It's you know what you think people want versus just be yourself. And people really are excited by that. Because yeah. a lot of people just don't get that opportunity in life. They don't trust that. So this is that. I think that's a big takeaway from this film is that message: is trust yourself and be yourself. Wow! And I'm just so I'm just like inching in my pants right now. I'm so excited because I mean he's told us so much, but there's so much more to look in the movie. Yes. Now the mask saint. I heard it is the first Christian action film, and you're a part of it. How, what, how, what went through your mind when you found out the news that you're a part of an amazing project such as this? It was really exciting because when someone says it's about a, a priest that turns from a wrestler to a minister, you kind of go, oh really? Yeah. And they go, but it's a true story. You go, really? Oh, okay. Let's follow that story. And that was really exciting. And then you kind of get to see the, the wrestling portions of it. You think, well, this is going to be fun too. And when you see the film, the characters, the, these are real wrestlers these guys brought in. So when Brett had to do the wrestling sequences, it was insane to watch with this. Yeah, because these guys are like six, seven, three hundred 300 pounds, all wow. muscle. It was intimidating, to say the least. But Brett was just stepping right up and doing this stuff, and it was shot so well, so exciting. You know, it, it doesn't matter that it's a faith-based film. That's just sort of the backdrop of it. This, the way he shot this thing, it is so exciting and builds and builds and builds and builds. I was thrilled because when you get to see it at some of the festivals, it's the first time as a performer you get to see how it was all put together. I was thrilled just to watch the movie, and then every now and then you go, I, I know that other guy. That's me. That's, he, that's good too. But the wrestling stuff is exciting as can be. Yeah. You're making me so excited to go into this theater and see this movie. But I have to ask you, like, what was your favorite part of being on set? Scarily enough, it was Roddy Piper. Because I was, you know, as a young boy, he was like the guy, yeah. right? So when I'm standing beside him going, hey, I'm as tall as Roddy Piper. That's cool, too. <laughs> you know, of course, his hands were the size of my head. You know, he could have crushed me with a thought. So that was easy. That was just fun being around him because he really was that world. And we were pretending and acting that sort of thing. But the, but the, act, the wrestlers were real wrestlers. So being in, in that environment to see the competition and the showmanship of that as well and the physical demands of that sort of thing, the respect level was so great. So you just had to step back and be in awe of, as a little kid, you're kind of going, look where I'm standing. This is so great. Yeah. And, but they ate way too much at lunch. That's the only thing. Yeah, that was yeah. it. <laughs> now, you spent so much time with this movie, and I know you're so excited for people to see it. What's one thing that you hope for people to get the most out of this movie, The Mass Saint? I'm just hoping that they take away that, what I was saying earlier, that idea of taking away of being yourself, trusting yourself. Because there's not one character in this film that's not challenged with that. And from the, from prostitutes and priests and children and bad guys and good guys and wrestlers everyone's given that opportunity and watching how they deal with that and the ramifications of that choice I think that takeaway is a huge thing right now to whether it's your political beliefs or your religious beliefs whatever that is you're sometimes you're afraid to talk about those things in public because of the challenge of that but the, the discussion that comes out of that of honesty is really interesting and I think that's the, the hope that people take away is just trust yourself Trust yourself. And that's coming from Mr. Patrick McKenna's mouth himself, man. He said it. He said it right here. But last question. Okay, we've asked a lot of the cast members already. What is your favorite movie snack? Movie snack? Yes. Oh, it happened. 
Do you, well, I'm, see, I'm in Nashville, I'm from Canada. Do you have nibs down here? Okay. Nibs? Nibs is a little piece, it's like a long piece of licorice, but they cut it into little sections. And then, okay. So you get a little bit. And it's there we nib. go, yeah. Just a nib. Just, just a little nib. Just a nib. Just a nib. I like that nib. name better, actually, than Twizzler Bites. Yeah. I like nibs. Yeah. They should change yeah. that. Yeah, I, I think so. Matter of fact, you should sponsor it. <laughs> Patrick McKenna's Nibs. Nibs. That sounds really good. And your coming girls M&M will sponsor you. you. Yeah. We'll stand yeah. behind you. Coming to a store yeah. near you. Look for Mr. Patrick McKenna's Nibs, you guys. <laughs> We're having an amazing time here at the Red Carpet. Make sure you guys don't go nowhere but here because we have more guests, more cast members, more excitement coming to you from the red carpet here at the at the, at the Mass Saint, excuse me, with your girls Eminem Live Radio. Don't go anywhere. Woo.